into it. So let's start off with um, this this new feature that came that came out or coming out soon and upcoming, according to Ashok. FSC version 13 handles oncoming ambulance perfectly. There was no message shown on the screen, but FSC did not attempt to move forward until the ambulance passed, despite the light being green. Perfect behavior. So this is more and more we're starting to hear people say that FSC seems to be understanding these emergency vehicles. But Ashok Alswami, who's the vice president of um, autonomy, right, AI, at Tesla, he said, even better handling, including audio inputs, is coming in FSC 13.4. He's referring to 13.4 already, mm -hmm. which means he's driving it already and includes audio inputs. So you can actually hear emergency vehicles. You can hear sounds coming out there. Uh, but let's just, while we're here, let's listen to watch this guy, what he was talking about. So there's a ambulance. FSC doesn't move until the ambulance is clear. Perfect. That's, ugh, that's exactly what you want to see. Um, I the a big one I had the other day when I was trying out version 13 it says was, here, it, the, the light yep. turns green here. Yep. But for some reason it knew that it was an ambulance coming through, even though it's his green, right? Yeah. 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 Is red light handling is improved on version 13. I had a chance to uh go through an intersection where it was one of those yellows that hit at just the wrong time and you could feel the car hesitate and then go which is exactly what i would have done my brain would have said hesitate go it was modeled on drivers just like just like me and this is great to see it's just getting this has been a big step forward in my opinion brian what do you think is happening here chuck cook asked the question 13.4 what happened to 13.3 is that for the improved parking or larger model size and yeah, I fully expect that there will be a 13.3 coming out, but it's interesting. What's your thoughts on what might come 13.3? Couldn't even guess. I am so typically very late to the releases that I don't have a good barometer of what's going on. Uh, I would say that this time is, you know, I'm at the at the earlier end of the wide release wave, which is wonderful. And I've rewarded Tesla by making videos about it. But this is not that big of a deal, I would say. By now, I would assume a lot of people have version 13. I know oh, a week ago when we uh, first saw version 13 going out, I saw a lot of everyday people on X saying that they had received it that night and were uploading or downloading it. So, uh, yeah, I think it's all, you know, they'll just keep adding stuff. We are closing the final remaining gaps in what it needs to be and do. Okay. Let's take a quick, a little closer look at this, uh, feature of the audio input SETI park on X SETI underscore park. He does a fantastic job. This person on tracking the patents. He said this audio input feature detailed in this patent appears to be officially operational. It will come in 13.4 in later versions and kind of reads out here. And it says, you know, one or more sensors are attached to the vehicles to gather information used to generate to control the vehicle. The sensors are devices that detect information related to the physical environment. Okay. It could be, it could be image sensors, right? It could be, um, you know, that's one example. Another example, maybe geolocation sensors like GPS. And yet another example, the sensors may be microphones that detect sounds in the environment in the form of audio signals. So that's great. Um, just like humans, right? There you go. Yes. We have microphones in the car already. You know, if you have a smart speaker, it is always kind of listening. It needs to be prepared when you say, hey, smart speaker. Uh, but I think this is the same kind of thing where the interior cabin will listen for the distinctive pattern of sirens. And there's only a handful of siren types in the world. You could even uh, hmm. make it recognize only the siren types in the in the place where it is. So in the U.S., it might not recognize a European uh, style siren. So I think it's yeah, it would just kick it into a heightened mode of awareness and say, look around. Do you see it? Is it there? And mm -hmm. behave appropriately. Isn't that great? Yeah, this is a robot on wheels. It's got the vision. Now it's got the hearing. Um, maybe it also has touch, right? It probably mm -hmm. does. You know, suspension well, of the wheels, right? It knows how hard it turns. It knows all that already. Well, that's why the holiday update included fart on sit, yeah. which you can assign to different all seats right. of the car. Let's talk about the upcoming features. And so this is version um, 13.2.1. And this mm -hmm. is the list that includes all this here. And it's amazing, right? 13.1, you're driving it. You're freaking out how great it is, just like everyone else's. But Brian, it doesn't even include these things that are still to come. 
three times model size scaling, three times model context length scaling. Okay, this is like taking advantage of the more compute that the car has for training it. This is going to just make it even better. Audio inputs. So he talked about that. Now that he confirmed it will be 13.4. Uh, improved reward predictions for navigation, improvements to false braking and slower driving in parking lots, support for destination options, including pulling over, parking in a spot, driveway or garage. So now you can actually tell it to go into your garage, tell it to go to a very specific spot, efficient representation of maps and navigation inputs, improved handling camera occlusions. Uh, which ones of those do you want to address? Well, I'll, let's start with the improved handling of camera occlusions. The question I get asked a lot is, how is Tesla going to solve for the sun in its eyes yeah. I, it, it, or fog? And I say, how do you handle it? Hmm. Well, you know, I, well, I put my hand over my face. Okay, that's good for sometimes. Um, but if your brain could be trained to just ignore the sun and and get better detail from what it can see that could be sufficient we've already seen vast improvements in camera occlusion performance over the past year and i don't think it's unreasonable to say we're getting real close to all the way there okay and then what about the other features there that's improved handling camera occlusions yes a lot of these don't makes sense to my brain. 3X model size scaling, 3X model context length scaling. I don't necessarily know what those mean. In terms of the improved parking, that's yeah. fantastic. You absolutely need that. Yesterday, I took the car to the bank and it said, you know what? I'm going to park right here in this legitimate parking spot uh, for disabled parking. So, no. ah, so close, so close. Hey man, I'm counting that as a success. If all it had to do was drop me off, that's a legit spot to drop me off and then and then go on about its merry robo taxi day. So, <laughs> merry robo taxi way. Yeah. yeah. So I think that would work, but not for. I mean, we're getting, we're getting very close. And I've had it park for me a couple times at stores where I didn't, I didn't tell it to. I got to the Winco parking lot and I was hoping it would park. And then someone said, "You have to put on the blinker." So I was like, "Ooh!" So I put on the blinker, and it shut off the blinker. Put on the other blinker and parked me there between two spots and I was like, ah, so close so close big step forward not quite all the way there yeah sounds like they're going to work on it and he also said parking in parking garages so yeah. you know, know how to do that indoors and oh man it's fun okay and in your garage wouldn't it be yeah. great if you could just you know yeah. drop the groceries where yeah. you need to I have a then... windy driveway and so it's it would just be wonderful if it knew uh Sometimes when I get dropped off by Uber and Lyft, I want it to be right at the front and I'll walk down my own driveway. And sometimes I want the car to go all the way down to my garage. So this is how you tell it which one you want. 